Now we're going to go over how to manage your notifications that you get um, on a per app basis. So if you keep getting a notification and stuff um, from a certain app that you just don't want to see anymore, you don't want to see um, notifications from that app at all, you can um, use these kind of tips to help you adjust uh, what you want in terms of notifications. So if we just kind of swipe down from the top here, we see we have a Google Voice notification. Um, and what we can do is just long press on that notification and you get a few options here. Um, so you get the alert category, that means it'll actually vibrate or make a sound, whatever you have your ringer set to, um, to alert you that this notification from this app, the Google Voice app, has come in. If you don't want it to notify you, but you still want the notification in your notification stage, so you don't want it to get your attention with sound or anything like that, you can go ahead and click silent. And, when, and then go ahead and click apply. And you'll actually see it now moves down to a different section here called silent notifications. Now, say you just don't want notifications at all or you don't want this type of notification from Google Voice or whatever app um, you're looking at. Just go ahead and long press on it again. And you can actually see the turn off notifications here in the bottom left. And we go if we go ahead and tap on that, You'll actually see for some apps, especially Google apps specifically, you actually get a lot of options between what notifications you want to turn on or off. You can turn on and off all the notifications from this specific app at the top here, or it actually has categories here. So if there's a certain category or something like that you just want to turn off because you still want notifications about missed calls or things like that, um, but you don't want like call recording or things like that um, or in you know Google Maps you still want notifications with your directions when you're um, using turn-by-turn -turn guidance but you don't want to be updated about places around you and random notifications and stuff like that that you also get from Google Maps you can turn them off um, by category just by flipping them on or off and you can also hit see more and this brings you into the full page here and now you can see all of the different categories here so say if I just don't want um, notifications about voicemails I can turn that off but I still get notifications about everything else that kind of goes on in the app or again I can turn it on or off from here it's up to you so that's kind of one way to go in and change it um, Especially if you get like this one notification from this one app that keeps showing up, that's a quick way to kind of go and turn it off. If you want to, um, you can also just jump into your main settings here and go to apps and notifications. And then you can, um, if you don't see the app at the top here, you can click see all. And then you can go in and let's say, let's go to Google Maps and from here you're gonna go ahead and click on notifications and here you will see that same list um, so this is just another way to kind of get to the same place and here again you have a bunch of different categories that you can go turn things on and off right so if you don't want um, the Google Maps timeline stuff keeps popping you up and asking you questions and you don't want that, you can go ahead and just turn that specifically off. Um, and you can go ahead and kind of customize this to however you want, or you can just turn them um, on, all on or all off. It's up to you. Again, a lot of Google apps do have these different categories and things like that. Not every app will do this. Um, some apps just have show all notifications or none. Um, it just depends on how the app developer has laid that out. Um, but if you, again, want to use the silent notifications or alert, that works for all apps um, across that board. And you get to it again by long pressing on the actual notification, then selecting what you want. Um, also, another quick way just to get to all the notifications is if you just long press on the notification, you can also just hit the settings icon and that'll jump you straight here. So there's a couple different ways to get here. Um, just use whichever one works best for you at the time. But that's how you can adjust um, some of the notifications within 
Android. Um, hopefully that helps you out.